Hey KiwiCo viewers, we are launching a new series of videos with Lucas's adventure in the Atlas Crate. Atlas Crate for ages six and up features different destinations every month across the world. And this is the starter crate that brings you on your world adventure. So Lucas, where are you? Come jump up over here. All right, there he is. He's going to start his world adventures, right? Now, the cool thing is, every month, you're going to have this passport, Lucas. All right, this is your passport. And we can have you write your name on the passport here, just like Ryan. You see that, Ryan? He made his passport. And you can use stickers all throughout your trip, and you can actually make little dotted lines. Lucas, look. Dotted lines. And the dotted lines can be used to mark your travel, your journey. So that's kind of your sticker, okay? Each month, you'll get a different maker, uh, sorry, a different uh, Atlas box, and you can put the stamps inside of your passport. So you can use that, you can put that as a dotted line somewhere there. What is that? You know what that's called? Compass rose. A compass rose, where'd you learn that from? What do you mean? At school, right? So one of the first activities is that you can actually learn how to read a map. You want a you want a bigger marker? Should you get a marker to write your name on it? Where? Marker. Oh, let's see if we can find a marker. Okay, Lucas found a big old sharpie, silver sharpie. He's gonna write his name. L. J. S. Hello. I don't know how to write cursive. <laughs> huh. Uh, that's interesting. There you go. Well, Lucas has his name here in cursive. A very creative cursive. It's pretty cool. And also normal and now he can decorate his uh, passport but let's take a look at the first part of this kit you also get this cool globe we made, you, don't. you started making that but you didn't make the stand yet so you should make the stand because look you can create your own spinning globe in this one all right so let's take a look at this together why don't you take a, you actually put all the continents on do you know how you know the names of each of the continents or no Oh, let me see. North America. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that one's right. Mm. Well, first of all, where do we live? Yeah. Where's that? Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii is in the middle of the what ocean? Do you know? Pacific. Pacific. Yeah, we are all the way here in Hawaii on the globe. Now, you're right. There's a North America and a South America. North, south, nope. east, west. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Good guesses. Maybe if you put this together, you'll know which way is up and down. So let's see how we can put that together. You're going to take both halves of the globe, and we're going to have to put the stick inside the halves. Okay? So you can open that up. And we're going to assemble the stand together. So why don't we go do that? <laughs> You're going to have to figure out how to open the bag first. All right, Lucas is figuring this out is, the uh, continents here. This is Antarctic. Wait, uh, mm, <laughs> the bottom there is Antarctica. Yep, that one's Antarctica. This is what, li what lives on Antarctica? Penguin? You're right. Here, why don't we jump over here and we can build the stand. Europe, where is it? Uh, yeah, this book is really help. Here. If, if you put it on the stand, then it'll be easier to see because then it'll look like the globe, right? So let's take a look at the instructions. What do you have to do first? You have to take one of these and insert it on the bottom there. The big hole. 
Look Ooh. at the picture. Oh, yeah. Is that... Mm-hmm. Supposed to try to stick it right there? No, oh, you're supposed to look at the picture. Push it up like that. Through oh. that hole. Other way. Turn it around. Oh, wait. That's right. Okay. Okay, slide it up. Good. Yep. There you go. Now you have to take one of these foam pieces. Take mm -hmm. one of these foam pieces. And you have to put it on as a sticker on mm. on the side there to keep it from sliding off on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep. One right there. I bet it's gonna be flipped. And then right on the other there. side, same thing. Right? Nice. So now the next page is that you're going to get a U shaped but foam piece. Turn it, off right here. it can go up and down, but it won't slide down. Now you get a U shaped one and you put it on the bottom there. Good job. Now you slide the other piece up into it. And the foam piece that says will hold the pieces snug. So push, push, push. Pretty snug. Yeah, looks good. All right. Now you have to put the stick through the globe. So you find the hole on the top and the hole on the bottom. Yep, better line that up better, right? That's going to be the bottom, though. Has to go through the top. Don't poke your eye out. Get it? Uh, it did fall off. Well, I think you need one of these. Grab this. You're going to have a couple of these stoppers that you're going to have to put at the top. Do you need some help? You're just trying to line it up now. Close it back together. There you go. Now without pushing the stick out. Good job. Without pushing the stick out. Uh, you push the stick out? Yeah. Okay, Should try to find the hole again. Don't crack it open. Should be a straight line. There. Just watch how straight it is. Okay. There. <laughs> Don't open it. Sure I can you can see it. Oh, no. Don't, there, there you go. Okay. Now I'm, I'm gonna I'm hold gonna... the, I'll hold the bottom, and then you take one of these little white circles. Do you see the white circle? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now stick it on top so it doesn't slide off. 
Push that all the way down. Use two hands. There you go. There. Now, we'll turn it around. Do the same thing with another white circle. I don't think you need to hold it anymore. On the bottom. Great. Now your globe, it's upside down. There you go. You can put into the top, into the stand. Did it go in the top? Yep. Yep. And it get on the bottom here. How is it supposed to stay? It should just stay like that. Um, bring the top and to the bottom. You just slide it onto the bottom, let go. Does it not stand? Wait, maybe you're supposed to put another one up here. Where are you supposed to use two? Oh, yep, you're right. Well, here, we'll put the, we'll put the, the dowel up here, and then now you put the lock on. Nope, not like that. Remember? Nope. Other way. Nope. This top part goes over here. Flip it over. Nope. Up and over. Uh? Over. The H part goes into the, yeah? No, lay it flat. Look, flat. No, same direction. It's like a puzzle. Flat down like this. Remember? Did it go in? I think it's in. Is it in? Yeah, it's in. And then now you can use the stickers to keep it from falling out. Two more stickers. There you have it. You have your own globe now. So we have completed the globe and it even spins like the other globe, right? Are you sure this is the right direction? Yeah, that's the right direction. You know why? Yeah. Let's go through the continents. This one right here is North America. We live in the Pacific, well, we live in the Pacific Ocean in Hawaii, right? And then over here, this is North America. This is South America. And you can actually find all of those in this book over here. So here is the rest of this instructions here. But if you look at, where's the, oh, right here at the beginning here, you can actually see each of the pieces that goes on. Okay. But actually we'll learn about that in your passport. Because I noticed that in your passport, where's your passport? Your passport book? Your book. Yeah. The first thing that we can learn in this book are the continents. So let's take a look at the continents and let's read through some of this together. Taking flight. Before Anya, the cricket, and Milo, the sandpiper, started traveling, they lived on a little beach in a little town on a little bay. They had spent their entire lives there, hearing the same sounds, seeing the same sights, and sharing popcorn under the same bench on the beach. One morning, a beach, a beach ball rolled right up to them, as lost balls often did. But there was something different about this beach ball. Anya and Milo puzzled over it and soon realized it wasn't a beach ball at all. It was a oh. globe. Milo, who loved maps and was always looking for more to add to his collection, pointed to the tiny dot that marked the little town on the little bay. Hey, there we are. Yeah, wowzers. I guess that little dot is us, said Anya. I can't believe how tiny our town is compared to the whole wide world. 
For a long time, they started... I'm sorry, for a long time they stared at the globe. Suddenly Anya popped on top of the ball. I want to see it, she chirped. See what, asked Milo. The world. All those maps and books you have, don't you actually want to, don't you want to actually see what's in them? Milo thought about it. So we're going to go take flight around the world. And look at... Those, said Anya, pointing to Milo's feathers. You have wings, so so we can fly, Milo. Don't you think it's time that you use those fantastic feathers for something wonderful? Milo looked down at his wings. Well, I suppose that, yes, 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 I do. Anya rubbed her own tiny wings together. Her eyes opened wide. So what are we waiting for? She said, let's go. Wait, 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 said Milo. We can't just go see the world. Why not? Anya asked. Well, we've got to figure out where we're going and how to get there, and how long it will take, and what we need to pack. Is it hot? Is it cold? Do we need rain boots? Snow boots? No boots? What kind of sunscreen will we need? Anya nodded. Good point. So let's plan. Let's pack. Let's go. So Mila went home and collected his maps and charts. He looked at his books on countries and continents and the oceans between. He made lists of things to see. He made lists of things they'd need. He packed and prepared and packed and prepared some more. Anya just grabbed her camera. Time to travel, she chirped. And that's how Milo and Anya got ready for their first adventure. Ready to jump, ready to fly, ready to see the world. And they're ready for you to come with them. So that's the story of all the places Did that they're going to see. Africa has the hottest place. The, the Donegal Depression. Donegal Depression in the in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Average temperature 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. 34 Celsius, hot enough to bake cookies in a car. Bake cookies in a car? That's crazy. You could bake cookies in your car? If you did, when you buy, trying to get some on it, then it will just burn? Probably, or you can fry an egg, right? So we're going to go to Africa. Where else are we going to go? We're going to go to, oh, these are the continents. Can you find Africa? Point to Africa on your globe. I know, that's what I was trying to do, the other one. Yep, there it is. There's Africa. This one? Does that match that shape? No. Which which one's Africa? This one? No, Africa's down. There you go, that's Africa. Africa. Okay, that's where the giraffes live. Antarctica. Antarctica, that's at the bottom. What what lives there? Penguin. Is that your fam favorite animal? It has the lowest temperature, has the fewest countries, the lowest population, meaning nobody 40, lives in Africa. Negative 49. Negative 49 Fahrenheit. degrees Fahrenheit. 40, negative 45 Celsius. Yep. So we'll learn about Antarctica. Europe. Where's Europe? Are those yaks? You're right. I think that is a yak. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that uh, that is, but it looks like a yak. Yep, Europe is up there. Do you know your cousin is traveling to Europe right now? Yeah. You're in London. America. South America, that's where the rainforests are, yep. And then we'll have Australia and Oceania. We live in Oceania, in the ocean, right? What is that? Koala? Yeah, you're right, koala bears. They're in Australia. And then... Asia, what's that? Panda. A Kung Fu Panda. Right, where's Asia? This big chunk over there, right? And then the other place that you used to live in Minnesota? What's that? North America. It has the right largest living tree. Wait, where is it? Right there. Yep. North America. So these are all the different places that you'll go. And each of the boxes will have a different country that you put a stamp on, okay? Is so we'll travel the world longest together. Land border? Yeah, the longest board, land border between the United States and Canada. 3,987 miles. Yep. 
So this is your passport that we'll take with you. And as you travel, you can add more stickers. So Lucas, you can start with your first sticker, which you already took off. And you're gonna travel somewhere. We're gonna travel there, right? We're going somewhere. Now, the last part of this introductory kit, other than the cool globe that you made, right? Is this really cool map. So they have a hello introduction. Welcome to the Atlas Crate. Look at this. So you're going to travel with this bird and the traveler with Anya and Milo. Okay. And you can explore the seven I continents. Thought this was take, actually instructions. take the world map challenge, build your own spinning globe and start your Atlas book. So we looked at the Atlas book. We made the seven. We looked at the seven continents. We made our spinning globe, but there's one last thing that I think you'll like. It's the world map challenge. So let's take a look at this world map. So they give you a giant world map and we'll be able to take a look at each of the countries and where they are. Let me unfold that. Keep, keep this one nice and not crumpled up, but you can unfold it. Because as we go through the next Atlas boxes, which you've already received multiple of them, unfold it out. We're going to check off each of these that I never really countries that, that we can visit, okay? So you'll be able to pick one of these countries from each of the boxes that we get, and we're going to get a little bit of information with our friends Milo and Anya and the Compass Rose, right? Now here's something interesting. If you want a little challenge that we can do later... They give you a challenge. This is the great big world map challenge. And if you unfold this, you're going to learn some facts and be able to find out where certain things are. Like where on earth is the continents the flattest of them all? So if you go to 30 south and 135 east, do you know how to read a map? Look at the lines. Look at the lines on this map. So at 30 south and 135 east... Where's 135E? 30? Nope, that's 30 west. You want 30 south. So the northwest lines go across, right? Isn't this 30 south? Nope, that's 30 west. So you, you want 135 east. Where's 135 east? Okay. And 30 south. So find where 30 south is. 30 uh, right Wait, that's 30 north. So 30 south, and then find find 135 east. And where does that intersect? I mean, where do those lines come together? To 30 south. Is that 30 mm -hmm. south? That's 30 north. Australia. 30 south. You're right. So if you go to 135 and you go to 30 south, where's 30 south? Right here? Right there. Australia. That is where the continent is the flattest, okay? So we know that was Australia. Are you going to write that? Sure. All right, right, Australia. Actually, you know what? You shouldn't use Sharpie for this part. We should probably get you a, a normal pen. What? All right, you can write Australia. All right, same thing for the next one if you want to do this map finding. So only one country has a name that starts with O. Which country starts with O? 20 north and 60 east. 60 east and 20 north. No, find it. So, oh, no, no, don't look that way. Look at the map. 20, it's gonna be over here. 20 degrees north, 20 north, and 60 east. But there is no 20 north. Yeah, there is 20 N, the blue 20N. It's going to be in between 15 and 30. So you know it's somewhere along that line, but you have to go all the way to 60 degrees east. 60 E. You're in the west right now, so you have to go to east, and it's going to get bigger. Up to 60, 60, and 20. You're going to get closer, hot and cold. Somewhere over there. Is there a country with an O? Only 
Oman, O-M-A-N. Do you get it? Okay, write it in. Oman, O-M-A-N. Mm. All right, which country contains the most pyramids? Oh, I know this one. Oh, wait, it's not Egypt. I don't know this anymore. Go to 15 north and 30 east. 30 east. 30 east. 15 north and 30 mm. east. Mm -hmm. 15 north. Yep. 15 north, so you know it's on this line, and you have to go all the way over to 30 east. 30 east. Chad? 15 north and 30 east. It's actually Sudan, I think, right? This is 30 east and 15 north. Sudan. Do you know what state that is? S-U-D-A-N. So I didn't know that Sudan had the most pyramids. I thought it was Egypt too. S-U-D-A-N. So we can do this for all of these other things it's, like, look, wow. you can find out where animals live too. Like banana slugs. You want to try that one? For what? So it's going to be right here? Try this one. 40 north and 120 west. That's where banana slugs lived. Yuck. Who's that? Big slugs. So you can look at 120 west. Wait, come back here. 120 west and 40 north. So 40 north and 120 west. Huh? Oh, 40 north. 40 north and 120 west. That's in the United States. Gross. Banana slugs live in the United States. Okay. Anyways, Lucas, that wraps it up for our adventure well, in the I, world today. How do you find four west? Well, you just have to go to the west and the north. But there is no four war, war west. So you have to look in between. So zero... Halfway is going to be about 7, 15. So 4 is just about there, right? Mm -hmm. And you go to 55 north for... Oh, don't, don't draw on it. Don't need to draw on it. That way you don't have to mark it all up, right? And then... 55, 55 north. north. So this is which country, which country has the Giant. unicorn as its official animal? It starts with an S. 55, maybe Spain? 55 north and 4 west? North way? No, it starts with an S. So just in case you need some answers, they do have the answers on the back here. Scotland. 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 Where's Scotland? Scotland is... Right there. Did you find it? Did you get it? All right, Scotland. All right, Lucas, well, that sums up our review and our work on the first world here. When you come have a seat here, tell us, what was the easiest part or the coolest part of this kit? What do you think? Was it making the globe or doing the map? What do you think, Luke? The Making the globe? What was the most frustrating? What was the hardest part of it? I think I, I saw you had the hardest part putting that stick up through the two halves, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Was that kind of tricky? Yeah. What did you learn? Did you learn how to read the map and use the compass rows to find out places? I could. Yeah. And you learned some of the continents. Can you name all the continents on the globe? 
North America, South America, Africa, Africa Europe, Europe, Antarctica, Europe, Australia, Antarctica, and Asia. Australia, South America. Wait, we never saw it. Uh, South America. Yep. Well, you can keep working on these. 50 million gallons. Gallons? Gallons. The Amazon drains more than 50 million gallons. 389 million liters of water into the ocean every second. That's a lot of water. Amazon rainforest, right? Okay, well, this sets us off on our world adventure, Lucas. Uh, this is the first Atlas Crate that L Lucas has built, Atlas Crate. Uh, this is the KiwiCo World Box as we start our adventure into uh, the uh, various countries of this series. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Be tuned in for Lucas's next um, Atlas Box by KiwiCo. Hit up the link below to get a discount on your own subscription. And Lucas says subscribe to KiwiCo's World Atlas Box. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video with a different country in our passport.